All right, let's finish up everything by bringing in our model and textures into Unity. So this is Unity 2020.1.4, and I've just started a completely new 3D project. And because we created those folders inside of that Unity project and dropped our model and textures in, when I loaded up that Unity project, it automatically went in and read anything in those folders. And so inside of the models folder, you can see already, here is our creature. And if we expand that out, all of his different pieces, if we look under the textures folder, you can see all of our texture maps. So in this case, we didn't have to go in and actually import anything, but if you need to, you can create your folders, right click, and you can import new asset. That will allow you to bring in that FBX, bring in your textures and so forth. It's nice how the folder structure here mirrors your folder structure on your disk. And so when we created those folders, we're able to see that here, okay? But if you don't have them, you can go in and import those with a right click. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is go into the textures folder. And you can see as we click on these textures, if we look in the inspector, you get some information about those. So I wanna go into the, all of the normal maps and I wanna tag those as normal maps instead of the default. So I'm gonna go in and on all of these, go ahead and apply. And then on this one, we'll do the same thing and apply. Just wanna tag all these as normal maps. So it knows how to work with those. Okay, let's go back to assets. I'm gonna go back to models and I'm just gonna drag this up into the hierarchy, which will drop it into our scene. We get something like this. I've also taken the light, moved it into a better position and just made it a little bit of a lighter color so we can see the materials as we add these on. All right, so here is our FBX inside of the editor in Unity. So let's go ahead and now create some materials. So I'm gonna go into assets and I'm gonna create a new folder, create folder. I'm gonna call this materials and let's start to create some new materials. We'll go to create material and I'm gonna call this one, let's call it body material. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag it onto the body geometry. Now you can see a slight change in the specular on that. So with this material selected, I wanna to start to add some texture maps. Now I don't want this uh, inspector to change as I select my texture map, so I'm gonna go ahead and lock it on this particular material. And then I'm gonna come over to my textures folder to see all of the textures. Now, if you go under shader, you can see there are lots of different kinds of shaders that you can create. We're gonna stick with just the standard shader for this one. And you can see here are the main maps. We've got albedo, metallic, smoothness, and normal map, and so forth. Some of these we won't use. And so let's go ahead, and the bird creature body is gonna be this one. So I'm gonna drop this particular image right onto the square next to albedo. And you can see the color taking effect there. All right. This one is gonna be the metallic and roughness. And so let's go ahead and bring that in here. And for the source for the roughness, we wanna choose the metallic alpha, okay? And then let's bring in our normal map. So this is the body. So let's bring this into the normal. All right, put that slider down a little bit. Let's go ahead and do the wood. So I'm gonna go back to materials create a new material. I'll call this wood material. I'm gonna apply it to the wood pieces and the back piece as well. And I'm actually gonna create another light as well. So let's go create a light and I'll just create a directional light. And I wanna be able to see the back. So something like that. And let me move it kind of out of the way here. There we go. So, and I just wanna make sure that's on the wood. And now with that wood material selected, I'll unlock and lock, go back to textures and come down to our wood, which I think is gonna be this one. There's our albedo, metallic and smoothness, and then our normal. Tilt it down a little bit. Alrighty. And let's do the other ones. So again, going into materials, let's do the gold. Right click, create new material. Call this one gold material. 
and I'm just going to drop it onto here. And let's go ahead and unlock and lock back to our textures. And now this is going to be the gold albedo. So we'll drop that in as our metallic. And then, oops, that's the emission texture. So if we want to click on this swatch, we can change this up and actually, and then select the correct one. So we want to actually select this one, I believe. And then we need to put this into the emission. So we'll turn emission on, put this into the color. So this is glowing. We still need the normal map. So we'll do that right in there. And then I'm just going to dial down this, smooth this a little bit. So something like that. We also want to make sure that it's applied to everything. And so let's go back to materials and make sure that we apply it to the necklace and also to these bits down here. Basically everything that had that gold texture set applied. And same thing down here. We also need to apply the wood to this guy on the side here. All right, we're getting closer. Okay, you can see the shininess reflected on the sash, which is what we want. So it's looking pretty good so far. We still need to do the head. So let's create a new material. And I'm just gonna call this head material. And I'm gonna apply it to the head. Unlock and lock that. So we're seeing the head material, then go back to textures. And let's bring our head textures on. So the head is going to be right here is going to be the start of that. So that's going to be the albedo, which you can see there. This is going to be the metallic. Okay. And then the normal maps right here. And dial down that shininess a little bit and get with something like that. All right, let's do the, uh, the horns. Back to materials, create material. As you can probably guess, this is gonna be horn material. I'll unlock and lock this, go back to textures, grab the albedo for the horn, and let's actually go back and apply it first. So we're gonna apply it to the horns right there. Go back to our textures and finish up. So this is the metallic smoothness. Dial that down a little bit, and then our normal map. So let's go ahead and take a break here, and then we'll finish in the last lesson by setting up the last of the materials here inside of Unity.